since AmeriCorps was founded in 1994, its members have put in over 1.9 billion hours of service across the country. Isn't that absolutely incredible? It is. And some of those hours have actually been put in right here on Delmarva. Our own Sean Stryker spent some time with the local members. So, Sean, these guys really are doing a lot for the community. Yeah, Jimmy and Lisa, they really are. The Sussex County Habitat for Humanity currently has 13 AmeriCorps members working for them. But it's not just the community that's getting something from this partnership. Emily Beck is a long way from home, about 1,000 miles if you're driving. But for the past two years, the Green Bay, Wisconsin native has called Sussex County home. This is actually surprisingly a lot like Wisconsin, a little more flat and the water is salty, but otherwise it's pretty similar. After graduating college, Emily joined AmeriCorps, a network of service programs that brings together over 70,000 Americans each year to help meet the needs of different communities across the country. Emily, along with 12 other AmeriCorps members, are in Delaware working for the Sussex County Habitat for Humanity. So I wanted to do, do something different, kind of out of the box, and I've always been a fan of what Habitat does. I love putting in my sweat equity, if you will. So These AmeriCorps members come from all over. Karen's from Massachusetts, Zach, well he's from New Jersey. Adams from Maryland, and James is working in his home state of Delaware. It's kind of like another college experience. People from all over, different backgrounds, different interests, um, different personalities. It's really, it's, and but we become a family because we're all we have. We're from all over, as you say, and we don't have our family close unless you're from Delaware. So we live together, we play together, we work together. They're a fun group of people. Uh, we're going to work every day it wouldn't be the same without them. We laugh, we joke. If it's a hard day, they're always there to pick me up. If they're having a rough day, I'm always there to pick them up. So it's building friends for life. Building friends as they're building houses. This particular group is on the construction crew, which means they're on site physically building affordable houses for the people of Sussex County. But this isn't the only type of work AmeriCorps is doing. We have um, opportunities for everyone. As long as you're over 16, you can be on site with power tools. Um, otherwise, you can go in the ReStore, you could work in our office, there's always a place for you, no matter your skill set. I love being back home, and especially for such an opportunity as this, this is really great. In the office is where you'll find Delaware native Lai Butcher. Service is a big part of my background. I was taught from a very early age that one of the best ways to actually show compassion and love for others is through action. Um, and when I was looking into the AmeriCorps program, I of course wanted to see what types of opportunities would be in my home area. And when I found out that Habitat, which is one of my favorite organizations, actually had an opening, I immediately applied for it. While today Lai is working in the ReStore, her primary job will be as the events coordinator. I work as part of the community engagement team, making sure that everyone, not only here in Georgetown, but in the surrounding areas, realizes what Habitat is doing and the fact that we can only do it through their participation. Having a group of such dedicated individuals allows organizations like Habitat for Humanity to accomplish so much more for the community. I don't know what we would do in Sussex County without uh, AmeriCorps volunteers helping us out. The, uh, the, the, we wouldn't be able to build as many houses, that's for sure, and we wouldn't be able to repair as many houses either. Uh, and I really think we, we wouldn't be able to have the impact that we're able to have in Sussex County because of the AmeriCorps program. And being able to have such an impact on the community makes all the hard work worth it. There's really no better feeling um, than seeing, seeing someone else smile and know that something you did helps put that smile on their face. I would pretty much say it's surreal. When there's, you, there's a lot of times that we're so busy we forget what, who we're serving, but when you step back and take, take a moment, you realize that you're doing such a good thing. And AmeriCorps assignments last anywhere from 10 months to one year, but most of the people I talked to said they're taking it day by day, just trying to enjoy the experience. Lisa and Jimmy? That sounds like fun, doesn't it? It does, it does. Well, one experience you certainly want to enjoy, gardening. Still ahead, we hear from gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz on what we should be planting this time of year and how. Well, a lot of us enjoy cooking too, so we're in the Del Marble Life Kitchen today making a simple, spicy seafood gumbo. Have I ever told you how much I love gumbo? <laughs> but next, WBOC meteorologist Dan Satterfield tells us about the technology that helps him predict Delmarva's unpredictable rainfall. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. <laughs> 